The history of our country is rife with examples where both activists and lawyers have played an important role in framing the pages of history. Whether it is the abolitionist movement or the battles against anarchism during the 30s and 40s, the communist era of the 50s and 60s, all the way up to the modern era where we have anti-capitalists and, and animal rights activists and climate justice activists all fighting for the survival of the planet. I'm Lauren Regan. I'm the founder, executive director, and staff attorney of the Civil Liberties Defense Center. CLDC has defended almost 900 activists in the 10 years that we have been an organization, and we never charge for those services. One of the things that the CLDC provides is free legal support for activists like myself. And without that support, we wouldn't be able to do the things we do. We feel if people are willing to put their liberty on the line for a cause they strongly believe in, they deserve the best legal support. The impact is huge of the CLDC, but the internal framework is really small. I think what makes the CLDC special is, and what people need to know, is that it chooses sides. And I think the CLDC is on the side of justice. In the late 1990s, uh, the WTO protests occurred. And I think that was the first taste that the government got of the power of the people to potentially impact uh, the corporate state. In the aftermath of those protests, we saw a lot more presence of militarized police forces. And then, of course, the 9-11 incident and the Patriot Act kind of coming on its heels. It seemed like the stakes to activists were getting higher and higher and the consequences more severe. We represented the non-cooperating defendants, those that did not want to become snitches for the Green Scare cases. The federal government deemed the crimes, terrorism. When the cases began, the government was stating that our clients were facing life plus 1,500 years in prison. The issue became, how do those convictions and how does that prison time make a difference? Revolution by its nature is illegal, right? It's unsanctioned. You can't write into the legal code. So when a political defendant is brought before a court, you're playing that revolutionary process out in the courtroom. So you're bringing it from the streets, the forest, wherever it happens to be, into the courtroom to get that narrative out there. Uh, CLDC is there to support that action and understands that struggle. And I think that's the most important and unique thing about the CLDC. Over the last 10 years, the CLDC has had the honor of representing a vast array of movements, communities of color, environmental, animal rights, indigenous rights, labor. We have trained almost 3,000 activists, filed over a dozen federal civil rights lawsuits, trained hundreds of lawyers to represent political activists. We've also challenged unconstitutional laws in the courts and have had those laws thrown off the books. The CLDC serves as the coordinator for legal support for the national climate justice movement and tar sands resistance movements. We travel around the country from Texas to Oklahoma to North Dakota to Utah, training activists, coordinating legal resources for those campaigns, recruiting lawyers to defend them and training those lawyers. We feel that it's our honor to be the defenders of the current era of activists and a lot of the battles that um, we're being forced to participate in now. Thank <laughs> you.